Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Project Ozone 3. Kappa mode. This cloak is in my face. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? How's life? Do you still remember what we have to do? We're going to make the energy condenser Mark 1. This is the recipe and this is what we have. We're not that far far away. At least it doesn't seem that we're that far far away. We have a problem and that's a very big problem. And that problem is called Frisian or Frisken or I don't know whatever the hell its name is. And it's this guy. We're going to need hundreds of thousands of these and we only have like 8000. The thing is whenever you're trying to play with mystical agriculture, the resource that you use the most is called Inferium Essence. Making this is super easy. I planted a seed which is a tier 6 seed and it's 10 10 10 and it's right next to an imaginary time block and it gave us 300,000 Inferium Essence in 45 minutes. However, in this mod pack, you're going to need both of them in the same amount in order to make a Prudentium Essence. But the production rates are quite different because we are getting almost 200 Inferium Essence per second and we're getting four of these guys per second. And that's a problem. Our problem also gets slightly worse because in order to make the energy condenser Mark 1, we're going to need four blocks of Insanium ingots, which does not sound that bad until you see the recipe. In order to get one block of Insanium, in addition to all of these resources, I need to fight the Guardian of Gaia at least 10 times because I'm going to consume some of the Gaia spirits in order to make the Gaia spirit ingots in order to summon the Gaia Guardian. So yeah, <laughs> it's gonna take ages. But on a very positive note, I think by the time I'm done with the Gaia Guardian fights, we will have enough Frisian or Frisken or whatever the hell that guy's name is. I have no idea why I was walking that way because I need Gaia Spirit Ingots and I need to have a lot of fights. Yeah, 31 is good. We are also going to need a lot of mana infused ingots from Lordcraft which is such an amazing mod. I actually love watching these guys more than fighting the Guardian of Gaia. I better talk a bit less and do some work. So I'm going to have the Guardian of Gaia fights because that will take ages and I'm not going to show you all the footage because that does not make any sense. <laughs> so uh, I'll just show you a few. That's it. Oh, and by the way, I'm actually not going to try and cheese the fight more than what I'm already doing because I have an OP sword, I have an OP bow. So I can fight them. Besides, with the bow, I get rid of the loot as well. It's nice. They're gone. Since making a block of Insanium takes a long time, I already made one. But the thing is, we have 374 Gaia Spirits. And that's not the insane part. The insane part is, I already ordered a block of Insanium. So, <laughs> there was much more. And we are going to order another one. But I have one ingot left. And I was thinking that, I, I'm not sure this is going to be the last fight or not. But I thought, okay, maybe for once, we face him like men. So I'm going to get rid of this guy, so that we don't have extra hearts. And also I'm going to take care of my Wither Rose, we put them here, and we also change the sword. Yeah, we use our garbage Tinker Sword. And also I'm not going to use the bow, we are going to use everything from Botania. And obviously flight doesn't count because I can't fly there anyway. And I'm going to admit it right now, this is a very stupid decision, and of course I'm going to die. Actually, he didn't do that much damage. I wonder why. Because this is not very OP, it's just protection 4. So, the two blocks of Insanium go there. We need two more. And probably you're going to need mana infused in... <laughs> you need 58 more. Okay, that's fine. Mana infused ingots are not going to be a problem because I'm always prepared. Alright guys, it is the next morning and I have fought the Guardian of Gaia several more times and we have our blocks of Insanium. The only things that we're missing is three pink matters and one alchemical chest, which is going to require a draconic chest, which is nothing. But every once in a while, I used to order a few dark matters or a red matter, depending on how much resources we had. So we can make one more pink matter. So with this, we're missing only two. We will have energy condenser today. Also, we have a slight problem. You might notice that we're not gaining Frisian at an incredibly fast rate. Um, it shuts down from time to time. And the reason for that is not because the quarries are not working. It's because we're out of reach slag and the production is very slow because otherwise 
we have a lot of ores. And believe it or not, I actually emptied this chest once, so <laughs> we should not waste Frision, it's a rare resource. I do have a machine which is making us rich slag, but it's not incredibly fast. We need to increase production. Our sieves are still working and are generating resources. If we put these guys in an induction smelter, they should provide us with rich slag, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, exactly. It just needs sand and it will give us rich slag. There's a low possibility that it will give us rich slag, but you know, it's fine. This machine which is comprised of 8 induction smelters and 4 igneous extruders is not supposed to be something hyper efficient or something miraculous, it's just supposed to help us a little bit with getting rich slag. Now that I set this up, we are getting a consistent supply, I think. Yeah, exactly. It's working much better. And that's the whole point. Because in any case, we are getting rich slag from three different sources, so that should help. Yeah, you can see it here. It's slightly more consistent, and that's good. So obviously I can make one more magenta, and can I make one more? Yes. Perfect. We're getting close. There is one more thing that we need for the energy condenser, and that is the alchemical chest. It does not have a crazy recipe, the only thing complicated is the draconic chest, which is nothing. <laughs> It's absolutely nothing. Yeah, even the basic crafting injector is nothing. Literally. So you make me 10 crafting injectors, please? No? <laughs> you don't want to? This is going to be a very temporary setup because we only need one chest. And that's it. And the question is, do we have enough channels for 10 more devices? Because I don't want to do cabling. Yeah, that's fine. I prepared a lot of stuff, but I think I messed up the recipe. So what did I do wrong? Ah, you're not supposed to be there. And you need two more furnaces? Yeah, perfect. The alchemical chest is going to require the covalence dusts. This one we have, it's going to require an ME chest, which um, I think we have it on auto crafting. Yes, we do. So we craft that. High covalence dust, medium covalence dust, low covalence dust. One quantum disc, one alchemical chest. Oh, that does not stack. Okay, cool. We have our alchemical chest and you go in the center. And we only need 800 more in order to make one extra pink matter. And then we're only left with one. We're very close. I'm so happy. A few episodes ago, I received a comment that someone was asking me, Lush, what is EMC and why do you need it? Uh, it's a very fair question and I guess I have to explain myself a little bit more because I keep forgetting that some of you guys are from Vanilla series or some of you guys are from RL Craft and well, obviously you have not played with Project E or you have not played Project Ozone and you don't really care about these things. <laughs> so um, let me try and explain as best as I can. If my memory works correctly, there used to be a mod called Equivalent Exchange and the idea behind that mod was that every item in Minecraft will have a value depending on its rarity. The most abundant thing in Minecraft is stone, so it has a value of 1. Coal has a value of 128 because it's rarer than stone. Diamond has a value of 8000 because it's super rare. And obviously, a nether star has the highest value in vanilla. And I cannot find the nether star. Yeah, there you go. Nether star has a value of 139,000. So basically what it means is that if you have one nether star, you can convert it to its value, which is called EMC, and you can buy 140,000 cobblestone. Or stone. Therefore EMC is like currency. You can buy and sell items in a very special chest which in this mod pack is called energy condenser. It has a mark 1 and it has a mark 2. And the difference is in mark 1 you have to do everything manually and in energy condenser mark 2 you can automate it. Do not bother yourself with names like dark matter, red matter, pink matter, purple matter, magenta matter because they don't matter. The only thing that matters is that they are crafting ingredients in order to make the energy condenser and a bunch of other stuff. That was the basics of EMC and now we have to get to the stupid part. In this mod pack, you're not going to need millions or billions of EMC, you're going to need trillions because a fading matter which we need a lot of is almost one quarter of a trillion EMC. So nether stars and blocks of emerald are not gonna cut it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that the only thing which is worth farming in this mod pack which will give us enough EMC is octopal compressed cobblestone, which has a value of 43 million. And for that, we're going to need a wand of animation, which has a crazy recipe. And we have to work on this next, because uh, it's going to take some time. I also did a rough calculation, and it seems in order to get all the line matters that we're going to need for the wand of animation, we're going to need 200,000 nether stars. 
and we're not even halfway there but we will be so that's not going to be a huge issue but this is our next priority the lime matter is not the only thing that we need in order to make the wand of animation we are also going to need two mirian singularities which is 18,000 blocks of mirian which does not have emc so we need to either craft it or make a dimension out of it and i'm thinking that let's try to automate it and if it doesn't work we make a dimension because i think that will be more fun and we're going to use the alloy transformer from modular machinery so let me gather some stuff and then i'll be right back what will happen if i touch the cable okay 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 good since the energy condenser is only a few minutes away i turned off the capacitor factory and it will no longer work just a heads up, so in case you see nothing works, it's because I turned it off. Because I don't want it to consume all of my resources and consume all of my processing power. I worked a bit on the alloy transformer and we will get to this in a bit, but I think we have enough in order to make the pink matter that we need. We need two more. We have one. We need one more. Can I make it? Please. 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 No? Yeah, I can! It's going to require a bajillion items, but it can. So do it. I honestly cannot believe that we are so close. It's taking a bit long because we only have one Philosopher's Stone, otherwise this would have gone so fast. I need to make more. It's finally done. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Energy Condenser Mark 1. And the first thing that we are going to copy is a 64k ME storage cell. I love this. That's uh, probably a lot. I don't have that many drives. Well it turns out I almost had enough drives. So. Yeah, I'm happy. And the best part of our lives is that we're no longer going to require capacitors. Because we can just dupe them. Enough of fooling around, let's get back to the main task at hand, which is producing Mirian blocks in order to make the Mirian singularity so that we can make the wand of animation. So this is the machine that I was talking about, and this is going to be our alloy transformer Majigabob or whatever it's called. And it was a very complicated machine because, you know, I thought inside is going to be hollow, but it's like... You need rotor shafts. <laughs> anyway, let me complete the building. And I think it was like this. And the rest is sheer bricks. Yes, I think this is the building. So did you form? Missing structure. What? Okay, it's not very complicated. I just need to fill in these and it should be okay. Are you okay? Yes. Alloy transformer. In order to get Mirian, you can use a normal smeltery. But I think this is a much more efficient way because we're going to need so much of them. Anyway. What you are going to need in order to make Mirion is Terra Steel, Elementium, Cobalt, Mana Steel, and Glass. And therefore, I have prepared some melters. Oh, and by the way, you don't have to do it like this. I'm using fluid ducts because I want to see the fluid. Otherwise, you can just put it over there. And you don't need the fluid ducts. I have set the filters and we are going to try this once. You should remember that these devices are not upgraded, so the speed will be like 10 times faster. Actually, I should make the upgrades. In every single recipe that you have in this mod pack, something has to cause a problem. You cannot melt down elementium. You need a smeltery. So I have to change this. But otherwise it will look nice. I think. Yes, I finally managed to fix it. And unfortunately we do have a giant smeltery down here, which uh, is not going to be a huge problem because eventually I will cover everything up. So that thing will not be visible. But we see all the fluid pipes and that looks cool. I like that. And on this side, we are getting Mirian, which is all we wanted. And as usual, in our stupid basement over here, we do have an interface which exports the item into an ender chest. And then we do have filters over there, which specifies which items goes into which device. And now that we have Molten Mirian, we need to convert it into ingots. Personally, I'm not sure how fast we are able to do this, but I did make extra ingot formers. This is just for testing purposes to see how fast it's going to make it. And obviously you need power. And obviously upgrades. Yeah, I think two is more than enough because the Molten Mirian is not keeping up. Actually, one could be enough as well. Yeah, I think one is also enough, so we don't need two. And the last part is that we're going to have a factorizer, which is going to convert it into blocks of Mirian. Yeah, for the moment, this is how we're going to produce Mirian. It's not very efficient because unfortunately, this guy is not very fast. It's actually quite slow because we're keeping up with the fluid. And the bottleneck is here. It's okay, we just leave it be, because in any case, even if I want to make a dimension out of it, I am going to need 128 blocks. So, yeah. <laughs> so just a few points. This idea might look cool eventually one day, but it's not gonna work. Because the problem is, it's incredibly slow and we need 18,000 blocks. And so far, we have like 150. It's not bad, because we have a lot of things to do, but um, 
I don't think by the time we're done, this will be done as well. So what I'm trying to say is that maybe I have to make a dimension. I'm not sure, but we will see how it goes. Also, ME controllers had EMC. So this is completely ME blocks. No more Futura blocks. I also figured out that there is something called 8x compressed obsidian, which gives you 2.7 billion EMC. I am not sure if your energy condensers can handle that, but uh, maybe that's something that we have to look into. Another eureka moment that I had was that I don't have to just wait for nether stars, I have 200,000 terra steel, and that gives you a lot of EMC. So we're going to dupe a lot of pink matters, and we will see how far we can go. So we already had pink, now we can make purple, and that is a quest. And obviously we're going to duplicate the purple in order to make a violet. And by this time I guess you guys get the gist. Ooh, this is expensive. <laughs> this is extremely expensive. How much are you worth? 39 million. Holy. After violet we have blue. 120 million. I think we have reached a period where everything is just going crazy. Because <laughs> this is super expensive. How do you expect me to get lime? We can also make cyan. And cyan is the one which is going to break our back. I need more terror steel. Can I make green? Yeah. This is 1 billion EMC. Personally, I just want to reach lime matter. That's it. We're not going to go higher than that because we're going to need the lime matter, obviously in order to make the wand of animation, but also to make the ultimate ingot, which is incredibly useful for us. And the reason that it's useful is because it will allow us to make the neutron collectors. Aha. Uh -huh. We need only one. Yeah, I'm guessing this could take a while, so I'll go back to work. Actually, I personally think that we're going to need more terrestrial seeds. So where can we plant you? Yeah, here is fine. Will you grow? Yep. No wonder this is expensive. It actually takes a very long time to craft one ingot. We just add one more and we can move to lime. Just to let you know, we're eating through blocks of terror steel and we're still here. Also, another lucky thing that we had is that Draconic Core and Vibrant Core, all of them have EMC. Also, the Awakened Core, but uh, we don't have it yet. Actually, you are my biggest achievement, so you go up there. I have gone through 100,000 terrestrial ingots and we have 3 lime matters. And that's it. Actually 4, one is up there. <laughs> anyway, next episode we should start working on energy condenser mark 2, which, ooh, it's going to require energy condenser mark 1. I need to fight the guardian of Gaia again. That's not very good. Yeah, but if it has to be done, it has to be done. We also need to get the transmutation table or tablet, whichever one is cheaper. That's not gonna happen. That is going to happen. That's actually cheap for what it is. Because matters are easy. Insanium is the problem. I don't know. We will see what will happen next episode. And we also have to make an RF tools dimension for that. Exactly. If next episode we manage to get the energy condenser mark 2, probably the next one we should be able to get this. I hope. This guy makes a million ingot every one second. So we will get one million block every nine seconds. That means if we want to have 18,000 blocks, that's going to take 45 hours. It's really bad. So we're going to make a dimension. So first we're going to need a material absorber and 128 million blocks. Ideally, it should have been a cube, but it's not. It's okay. And you're not absorbing it. So it seems you cannot make a dimension out of Mirion. There has been an update to the pack and maybe in that update Mirion has an EMC. The thing is, I have not updated yet and I'm not going to do that anytime soon. Because probably they have changed a lot of recipes and probably my applied energy stick system is not going to keep up. And therefore we are going to update after we get energy condenser mark 2. And it is perfectly fine by me if this guy can make one ingot per second because if we have four of them, I should have the singularities in 10 hours. And since I was checking the recipe on the wand of animation, that is roughly the same time that we need in order to get the other stuff. So it's okay. We need some seared stone. Does it have an EMC? Ah, okay. It's fine. We need seared bricks because I was thinking why go with 4 when you can go with 10. It makes it more fun. I actually find this more fun than doing anything else. <laughs> I like making machines in Minecraft and I do understand that this is not a very wise method of doing this and I do understand that it's also not very efficient. But the thing is, I actually like doing this and I think I have an idea for the design and uh, I'm ahead of schedule. Well, my schedule because I was thinking that we will get EMC by episode 20 and I will have the wand of animation by episode 25. We might get the Wand of Animation next episode or the next one, so I'm quite ahead of schedule. I'm happy. I can waste time. 
with things that make me happy. I thought before making a facade for our factory over here, I would bring you in so that you will see how everything works. Well, it's nothing very complicated. We have 10 of these guys. And then we have five melters here, which are melting cobalt, terra steel, man steel, and glass. And of course, we are having a smeltery down here for elementium, but I wanted to keep symmetry, so um, I'm having an ender tank here just to hype the pipe. Then I have two ingot formers and two factorizers which are making Mirian blocks and they will travel through this conveyor belt and go to an ender chest. And since I started running this guy we have 620, 630 Mirian blocks which is not that bad. Alright guys, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. I wanted to finish the episode by making the factory structure as well but unfortunately I have a really bad cold and I have a really bad headache so... We'll do that later on. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. Bye bye.